Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. This week we're in Germany reading stories from Folklore and Legends German. And Monday's Tale had us in a ghost story with the Conclave of Corpses. Today's story is taking a bit of a different track. It is a ghost story, but it is significantly less creepy in my opinion, than the Conclave of Corpses. This is The Flaming Castle. Upon a high mountain in the Tyrol there stands an old castle, in which there burns a fire every night, and the flashes of that fire are so large that they rise up over the walls and may be seen far and wide. It happened once, that an old woman in want of firewood was gathering the fallen twigs and branches upon this castle-crowned mountain, and at length arrived at the castle door. To indulge her curiosity she began peering about her, and at last entered not without difficulty, for it was all in ruins and not easily accessible. When she reached the courtyard, there she beheld a goodly company of nobles and ladies seated and feasting at a huge table. There were likewise plenty of servants who waited upon them, changing their plates, handing around the viands, and pouring out wine for the party. As she thus stood gazing upon them, there came one of the servants, who drew her on one side and placed a piece of gold in the pocket of her apron, upon which the whole scene vanished in an instant and the poor frightened old woman was left to find her way back as well as she could. However, she got outside the courtyard, and there stood before her a soldier with a lighted match, whose head was not placed upon his neck, but held by him under his arm. He immediately addressed the old woman, and commanded her not to tell anyone what she had seen and heard, upon peril of evil befalling her. At length, The woman reached home, full of anguish, still keeping possession of the gold, but telling no one whence she had obtained it. When the magistrates, however, got wind of the affair, she was summoned before them, but she would not speak one word upon the subject, excusing herself by saying that if she uttered one word respecting it, great evil would ensue her. When, however, they pressed her more strictly, She discovered to them all that had happened to her in the fiery castle, even to the smallest particular. In an instant, almost before her relation was fully ended, she was carried away, and no one could ever learn whither she fled. A year or two afterwards, a young nobleman, a knight, and one well experienced in all things, took up his abode in those parts. In order that he might ascertain the issue of this affair, he set out on foot with his servant in the middle of the night on the road to the mountain. With great difficulty, they made the ascent, and were on their way warned six times by an unknown voice to desist from their attempt. They kept on, however, heedless of this caution, and at length reached the door of the castle. There again stood the soldier as a sentinel, and called out as usual, Who goes there? The nobleman, who was bold of heart, gave for answer, It is I. Upon this, the spirit inquired further, Who art thou? This time, the nobleman made no answer, but desired his servant to hand him his sword. When this was done, a black horseman came riding out of the castle against whom the nobleman would have waged battle. The horseman, however, dragged him up upon his horse and rode with him into the courtyard, while the soldier chased the servant down the mountain. The nobleman was never more seen. And that is the German folktale of the Flaming Castle. And here we have, again, another ghost story from Germany. One that reminds us a bit of the Headless Horseman out of our own folklore of New York State 
in America. Yet still, this particular headless soldier seems much more disciplined, shall we say. Again, if you really want a creepy tale, listen to Monday's The Conclave of Corpses. This is nothing in comparison. This is Dan Scholes for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere that you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com, where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>